Hey, what's up? This is the Sometimes Joey Plays 100 subscriber special on Yellow Street. Live from the Absurdity Theater in Absurdity, USA. And now, let's send it down to the red carpet to Job Costas and Tabitha. You don't feel like watching it? There's chapters. Sk skip ahead. Hey guys, it's me, Tabitha, coming to you live from the Absurdity Theater, and I'm joined by a much less popular character, so much that he's only appeared on this channel once, Job Costas. Glad to be here, Tabitha. We're so stoked to be bringing you this awesome evening. Tonight, Joey will be presented with a piece of paper with the number 100 written on it by none other than Wilt Chamberlain. Many of the SJP stars are arriving now on the red carpet. Come on, Celia. Smile for the people. I can barely see where I'm walking. Man, that's not an acronym. That's the smell of the bus, man. Joey's parents are here. Mom and Dad, you must be tremendously proud. Very much. He still screams too much, but I love watching my weekly Tanya because I don't understand the Pac-Man game stuff he does. When does he actually earn any money from this? Uh, check back with us in three years. Tabitha, over to you. Oh boy, it's some of my new best friends, Jake Summer, Gary Nuts, and his wife, Geraldine. It's been a blast getting to know you all. It definitely has been. We're, we're happy for Joey and congratulate him on this accomplishment. It's been exhausting on this channel, but I did hear that there's food and whiskey here tonight. Yeah, there's crepes and a bar and other good stuff inside, and actually I'm gonna go there right now. I'll go with you, Tabs! Oh, tone it down, Summer, jeez. I'm here with Joey's from the future and past, along with everyone's favorite flamethrower-carrying moth, Mothius. Well, future Joey, I guess it's safe to say you could see this coming. No, Joe, I actually couldn't. A lot of people get the wrong impression of what pre-existing knowledge I know just because I'm from the future. Frankly, I think me and PJ's character logic has a lot of holes in it. I mean, I'm in the future, he's in the past, we're both here in the present. That's why it's called a gift. Yeah, and I don't know what timeline I'm supposed to be. I mean, we're all supposed to be villains, but we've been pretty good buddies for the most part. <laughs> well, that's why we live in absurdity. No rules, just right. Ah, uh, uh, correct. Good save. Okay, I understand Tabitha is with many of the other guests inside the Sunsleep Lounge presented by Sunsleep. Not sure why I had to read the brand name twice, but I'm just trying to stay relevant on this channel. Job, the energy is lit here in the Sunsleep Lounge. Everyone is mingling, enjoying various foods. There's goodie bags for guests to take home. You can go meet a monster. Okay, smile. Okay, smile. <laughs> you can make a Joey, and there's even a puppet show. Tabitha, any sign of the man of the hour himself? Job, there were a few times I thought I saw him, but I was mistaken. And I hate to be this person, but everyone kind of looks the same here. Certainly very lazy character design overall, but I'm sure the Joestar is off somewhere shaking hands and kissing babies. I do the kissing around here, Pete Rose. Buckle up. Security! Uh, not you again. Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, the puppet show just wrapped up, and let's see who our amazing puppeteers were. Oh, wow, Joey, when, when did you get here? I was like the second person here. Bernadette asked me to help her set up. Hey, if you're early, you're on time, right? I've been here 12 hours. Well, congratulations on reaching 100 subscribers. How does it feel? Well, thank you. I'm very grateful for those who have tuned in and showed support. You know, you, you can't get to 300 or 1,000 or 2,934 without first getting to 100. Oh, and uh, I don't know who this is. Is this a friend of yours? I don't know. I think he's like the janitor here or something. But he definitely farted during the puppet show, like right at the beginning of it. This puppet is Mr. Teaching, and that puppet is the assistant, Bethany, but this guy only talks in random grumbles, so I, I can't imagine it was a good show. Well, tonight ought to be a good show, and you'll be presented a piece of paper with the number 100 written on it by none other than basketball man Will Chamberlain. Yes, I'm looking forward to it, but I am starving. I'm going to go get another crepe. <laughs> I'm still gonna go get a crepe. What are they gonna do, start the show without me? All right, we're gonna start the show without Joey. 
We only ran the place for another 15 minutes, and then the musical production of complete absolute nothingness takes over the stage. I know, I know. So the quicker we start, the quicker we can avoid that. Go creep to the theater! <sighs> it's my show, Mom. It's your show, but it's our basement. So stop asking me get your It's not gonna happen. Now, the dictionary defines 100. Ah. Uh, what's up, mooses and gooses? It's me, Tanya. Hey, now I can't see anything. I finally, like, um, got myself something ridiculous and obnoxious to wear to, like, a fancy thing. And I love it, don't you? The Tanya Hawks are, like, attached, um, by strings. And if I press this button, I can spray this cool lavender mist if I get hot. Tanya! Yeah? Stop talking! Um, it was mothball. No, it wasn't! I heard your voice! Okay, you, you, you win this one, Mr. Cowboy Hat. Alrighty! Anywho, Joey, why don't you come up stage and let us all give a welcome to the one and only Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> I really love your show. Oh, uh, thanks, Mrs. Jeremy's mom. I love yours too. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, whoa, Celia! I thought Wilt Chamberlain was the hairy white dude that wrote poems and has that bridge in New Jersey. That's Walt Whitman, you idiot. Oh well, he's dead anyway. <laughs> so, it's funny that you say that. Hello, audience. My name is Wilt Chamberlain. On March 2nd, 1962, I scored 100 points in a basketball game that was untelevised and has no known video footage anywhere. I was so bummed. It was as if my accomplishment never happened. It wasn't until after the game I was in the locker room that I heard someone say, Hey, anyone got a slice of paper? And then a guy by the name of Harvey Pollock gave a slice of paper with a 1 and 2 zeros written on it. I held it up and some journalist took a photo. The lesson here is, if you pose for a photograph while holding up a piece of paper with information on it, then it happened. Jonathan, congratulations on 100 subscribers. It is my pleasure to hand you this piece of paper with the one and two zeros written on it. <coughs> this hurts mommy's ears. <coughs> Getting pretty sick of this job, I got a master's. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Joey, would you like to share a few words? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Payne and Mr. Chamberlain. Celia, what a very obnoxious spectacle you have put together. I am very thankful to all of those who have joined Sometimes Joey Plays, especially those who have chosen to click that button, click other buttons, write words underneath the video, and truly have fun with the work that we do. With audience, give it up for the homeboy and stack tip at the Sky Champion since 1992. Joseph Spring, I will be doing the acceptance speech from here on. First and foremost, I have a massively love. Hey, what's up with his eyes, man? Okay, yeah, our brain is giving the victory speech. Put this collar on his head and plug it into a wall outlet. All right. Okay, is there a video monitor that can come down from the ceiling? <sighs> okay, great. Bring it down. Okay. Okay, now go into the monitor settings and select Bluetooth. I said, uh... Hey, what? Wait, what did you set? Set it? You, you lost me there. Oh. Come on, man. Uh. Uh. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Pack up your troubles in your old kit. Okay, now go to input and select HDMI 2. I thought we were using Bluetooth! Well, obviously Bluetooth isn't working! In conclusion, what's are the greatest invention on this planet? I want to swim in the ocean of bugs and climb to the top of the highest bug mountain. Thank you, J-Unit. Um, whoa. How long was I out for? About seven minutes, and we really need to get out of here! Alright. After party at the strip club. No, no, no!
Don't have me on the borderline Everybody have fun tonight Everybody have fun tonight Everybody wang chung tonight Everybody wang chung have fun tonight Hi there children's my name is Mr. Teaching, and this is my dear assistant, Bethany. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of open communication about your feelings with your friends, your family, and even that special lady or special fella in your life. Oh, that's f***ing disgusting, bro. Why'd you do that? Run right the start of the puppet show, too? Oh. <coughs> anyway... The importance of, of communication. Across the nation, around the world, everybody have fun tonight. A celebration, so spread the word. 